Okay, students. So, uh, there's a couple things we're going to do this morning. Those of you who have been checking your email that I've talked to on the phone, you know that we are moving a lot of our material to Google Classroom. It's much easier and direct for you all to access your materials there. Uh, unless, of course, you're getting them in the mail, which you are, uh, and can do them at home and either take pictures of your work and then upload those back to me uh, through my email or you can physically take your work back to the school there's a bin outside the school where you can place your work I'm sure all of you know that by now so today I'm gonna show you how to do and use Google Classroom so what you're gonna do first is you're going to log into your Gmail so I'm logged into my personal Gmail and I'm going to be a student like you and show you how to access your particular Google Classroom. So I'm logged in. Here's my Gmail. Here's all my emails. What we're going to do first is on the right side of the screen, there's the uh, nine dots that are in a square. We're going to click this. And if you don't know, uh, your Google Drive is in here photos, the internet, your calendar, but if you scroll down, there's also Docs and Sheets, which is like Excel, and then there's Google Classroom. So that's what we're going to be clicking on today. So let's click on Google Classroom. Now here is my classroom as a student. Uh, I just have a couple things on here because I was messing around. Your screen will be blank. There won't be any classes over here on the left side of the screen. But for you to be able to access your work, you need to join a classroom. How does one join a Google Classroom? Well, I have talked to some of you on the phone and given you your code to log in. I also sent out emails to the 76 students that I have emails for with codes for all uh, six classes. So what we're going to do for you to be able to log into your classroom is you're going to click this plus sign. After you click the plus sign, you're going to be joining a class. Now, a little screen is going to open up to ask you to put the co a code in. The code that I had given you goes in this box. I had already had mine copied, so I just pasted it in here. So now I'm going to join this particular class, and let's see what happens. Okay, so this code is for English 4, which is my first and second period. As you can see, I've already posted a few assignments for you students to be able to do. So we're going to choose one of these, uh, and then I'm going to show you the process. So here is uh, to build a fire. This was posted a couple of weeks ago. You can mark as done when you're finished with your assignment. Got it. So whether you're using your phone or a computer, this is going to work either way. So uh, for this particular assignment, what I did is I included, um, and this class is reading To Build a Fire. It's a story by Jack London. So we're going to click uh, this. This is a PDF, and this is just the story. So for those of you who need to read the story this way, this is a great way to read it. Or because you have a Gmail account, you already have Google Docs. So you, you can click the Google Docs version of the story. I converted it this way also so that you can go ahead, go ahead and read the story, which you should do first. But let's say that you're going to start your assignment. To build a fire, check for understanding assignment. You're going to click here. And you're going to answer the questions in this document. So you can type it using your phone, no big deal. What is the setting of to build a fire? What clues indicate the setting? Etc. So you're going to be able to go in. And you're going to be able to access and answer the questions. 
So you can do it this way. That way you can just answer. And if you look, Leonjane is actually doing her assignment right now. So uh, make sure that you guys uh, go in, you look at your assignment, you answer your questions here, and when you're done, I will already have it because it is shared with me. So there won't be any issues there. So you have your PDF file, you have your Google Docs, version of the story, and then check for understanding. Now all the assignments are different, right? So here's another assignment. This one is your YouTube channel instruction videos. So let's click one of those. If you click here, there's your video. What it's going to do is open up YouTube um, so that you can watch the lecture that I've already uh, completed. Uh, so this video is for my and this is on to build a fire. Or if you want to watch it in YouTube, you can open it this way. Two videos on the YouTube site. The mercy of bio. So as you can see, there's a lot of information here. So I would watch your video. And then when you're finished with your YouTube video, then you're going to open up your Google Docs again. And then here's your video response sheet for you to answer. Facts, vocabulary, best part of the video, why, questions and answers. All of the classes will have video response sheets. So you will all be using this depending on which lecture or video you'll be watching. So there's this also. So this is a great way for you to quickly access your work so that you don't have any issues. Now, uh, we're gonna go back. So now we're at our email again. After you log in, you're gonna scroll down. You're gonna go to your Google Classroom. It's gonna open up your class. You're on English 4, period one, two right now. Uh, there's a formative assessment assignment and all of you will have these depending on what period you're in. There's instructions. Uh, there's also a, a the standards that you'll be utilizing as you do this assignment. Let's open it up. This is a Norwegian folktale called Boots and the Troll. So what you're going to do, just like we would do in class, you're going to read uh, a little short story. And then at the very bottom, there's instructions for your essay to write. For this one, it's a minimum of three paragraphs. You're going to use evidence from the story to compare and contrast the two main characters, Boots and Claude, their brothers. And then it says write on page below. What does that mean? That means that down here, you're going to write your essay. And then I will see it when you are complete. Right? Because I am you now, a student. So there's many ways for you to effectively be able to complete your assignments. Don't forget that we also have your assignments on the school's website here. You're going to click here to download or review your homework. It's got the first week work. This isn't a PDF. So if you're going to complete your work this way, you're going to need to... Uh, either print the assignment or write your answers on line paper, take pictures of it, write the title of the assignment, and then um, show it to me later. I mean, email it to me when you're done. So actually using Google Classroom is pretty efficient and effective in this case. So there will be, and there's your second week, there will be the next two weeks. So this is the first two weeks. This is the second two weeks, which will end tomorrow. And then down here will be the next two weeks. So that will be a month and a half of work. So if you have not started your work, oh boy, I would really get on that so that you don't get behind. All right, so we have that done. Uh, remember, this will take you right to the YouTube.